ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Moto Shop. I'm your host, Sam Barber, and with us today we have Ellery Connell. Ellery, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, we're going to take a quick look at volumetrics, so volumetrics. light that you can see. Oh, so when, so every time I'm at a, a cocktail party and I hear someone say the word volumetrics, I think that person deals with 3D and and, and rendering and, and all this, uh, this stuff. Volumetrics is, is kind of one of those buzzwords that you're always hearing when you're at cocktail parties. Absolutely. All the smart cocktail parties I attend, I hear that. So. Yes. So, yeah. so how do we get started with volumetrics? Right. So getting started is ridiculously, insultingly simple. You turn on volumetrics and wow, if you click on the right place, short episode. we're done. <laughs> okay. So now you can see our, our light here. If I go out to the OpenGL view, we can see the light is up here mm -hmm. to the up so and left of the ball and it's shining down light now that we can see. The, the idea with volumetrics being? Um, being, well, in, in the real world, light, especially strong light, as it enters through atmosphere, it's going to pick up and hit little particles of dust and things in the air. And so that's what you actually see, mm -hmm. which means that something as smooth and even as this is not going to look accurate for volumetrics. You want something that's going to look a little dustier and a little bit more like it's actually hitting particles of stuff in the atmosphere. Stuff in the atmosphere. So how do we make this uh, clean looking volumetric look, look more realistic? All right, so we're going to go in here and we're going to actually use our shader tree just the way we would with a texture. Mm. And I'm going to start here by adding a noise map. So now you can see this goes on in the default as it does it to light color. Um, I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to change it to volumetric density. So you see it it first doesn't look like it made too much of a change here. Okay. Um, but you can see there's a little bit of speckled to mm -hmm. it. So that's that's good. We're a step in the right direction. So this will obey scale and everything just as a texture would. So if I think, you know, for my overall kind of basic wave of the light, this is looking too small and this is looking kind of lumpy, I can make this one larger and this can just be my overlaying kind of giving a little bit of randomization to the light. So I'm going to take this and, you know, Modo does our math for us, thank heavens. So I'm just going to say 100 millimeters times, let's do times 10. And I'm going to hold down control and hit tab and it's going to update everything. Mm. So now you can see it's just a little bit more lumpy looking. Right. So yeah, you kind of have a, a, a larger uh, scale to, exactly. to the noise. And this is just kind of give that overall, like I said, shape of it. So, but it's really bright here. So what we want to do is we're actually going to go down here to our texture layer and we can see it's going from zero to 100% for our volumetric density, so how dense the particles are. Okay. So 100% is too dense because that means the air is completely made out of particles, which mm. would be hard to breathe. So mm -hmm. we're going to turn that down. Um, right. And as we turn it down, we'll see, you know, you can pick a hot spot here where, where you like it. Usually I like to go to where you don't get like an overblown uh, area in the center. So okay. let's go there at about 30%. Now you can see it's looking a little bit more dusty. Yeah, we're starting to get something that looks a little bit more convincing. Absolutely. So we're going to duplicate now our noise layer. Mm -hmm. And this time we're going to do something that's a little bit more fine. So we're going to say divide by 100. And now you can see this is just giving this really, really faint. Yeah, there's a fine there. little and That uh, might be a little bit top. small. So let's, uh, let's multiply that by 5. There you go, so we can see a little bit. And of course now, if you know, we watch the other ones on the shader tree, we can see we've lost our other one, and that's because the shader tree stacks, like in Photoshop. Since these are both vol volumetric density, you're only going to see the one on top. Mm. So we need to set this up so we can actually see it. So we'll go here to our texture layer, and I, and I can choose a different blending mode. I think we might try, subtract's going to just black everything out. Uh, I think we might try multiply here. And then it's just going to really make this a little bit finer. And we mm -hmm. can go in and we can then adjust our main volumetric density. We can pull this up a bit to kind of get a little bit more lightness out of that. Mm. Okay. And you're just affecting how those two are, the blend mode between those All two. Right. Uh, actually, now what I'm affecting, since I have the blend mode set up, is I'm affecting the high value on that original one. Remember, oh. we turned it down to 30% because it was really blown out. Now we're, tr we're turning it back up since we have this one multiplying or making it darker. Um, these ones. So, so you're compensating. For yes, how compensating playing. for that. So, you know, which you don't always need to do, but that would be, you know, the kind of thing that you would do if, uh, you know, depending on the way you've got your volumetric light set up. Mm -hmm. So, um, and also with this, I can change, and I can take my high value here and make it a little higher, because remember, I duplicated that top one, so it was at 30% too. So I can adjust these here, and I can even pull some into the negative, which is going to over kind of darken them. So now you can see it's actually pulling, it's giving a little more contrast in it. Right. So again, you can do this kind of, you know, salt to taste. And so that's how you do it. You can do that with, with the density. And then you can add, let's add another, um, let's add another noise map here. And this one we will change, this one's set to light color, which is nice. So we can give the light a little bit more of a natural shift of tone. So let's pick kind of a, a little bit of a warm, yellow here to it and then we'll go to maybe just a little bit warmer 
maybe a little bit more orangey. And so that's just going to give a little bit of subtle variation um, into sure. it. So if we open up a preview render so we can actually see this at a bigger size, you can see now that we're getting, we're starting to get the idea of those dust particles in the air. Mm -hmm. um, and again, this is all in stacking up your layers and getting, getting that look that you want that's particular to the size. You know, this looks like it might be something that's really small. If you want to take your scales down a lot more, the particles are going to look smaller. It's going to look like something that's larger. So it'll so, actually affect uh, how we perceive the sphere. Absolutely. Case, the yep, sphere. absolutely. This is going to affect how we, how we see that because tiny particles looking big next to the sphere are going to say small, but you can adjust the scale and uh, the nice thing is, is these render relatively quickly too, so we don't have to worry about taking a lot of time experimenting because you know we've got this here, um, and it comes out really fast in the preview. Yeah. And then we can also can control just very quickly here. We can control here just on the main light, you know how wide our shaft of light is. So if I take the radius and drag it up, you can see that's going to get larger. You can see sure. the way that the shadow interacts here. So if we come around, it's where we're on the other side of the ball. We can see the shadows now will come around our mm -hmm. camera view. Absolutely. So you have an eclipse effect. Yep, kind of an eclipse effect there. <laughs> That's excellent. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ellery thank Connell. You. We, you for pre preparing us for our next uh, caustic cocktail party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching Motoshop.